Hello gamers, it's uh, Wintermute here. And I've started a new forest map. So I've done a guide already on the red planet, which is kind of the easiest one. The looter map, which is a little bit harder, but not too bad. And then the forest map, which is... It's not hard, but it's a little bit tedious in terms of the setup. So I just wanted to give you some tips in terms of how to start and ramp up really quickly with this base. Because it can be really slow if you do it in a, in a certain order. Uh, one other thing to note is the map starts with lots of trees, as you can see. Uh, water, there's a lot, there's 250,000 water in each of these ponds. Starts with oil, gold reserves. Uh, there's aluminum on this map as well. But there's no uranium, and there's no ore, so you kind of have to make your own ore, which is a little bit uh, the reason this, this map's a bit harder. The one nice thing about starting with this uh, Earth map is that you start with 5 million atmospheres, so you can grow things right away outside, which is kind of a, a benefit to this map. So you start off with uh, one forest rover, and we'll get him harvesting right away. Now, you could build lots of forest rovers and have them kind of do what he's doing right now, but it's going to get slower and slower though. He's going to clear kind of from the inside out. So as, as this gets cleared, your kind of input of wood is going to get slower and slower and slower. And I tried, I tried starting with building a bunch of these kind of rovers right away, um, but it didn't work out so well. It got really, really slow. So I tried another alternative where I was kind of building my own trees because you can build trees right away, but they cost water. What I attempted to do was kind of scale up a bunch of water wells, which don't require power and don't require workers because you only start with two workers. And kind of, you'll see what I'll, I'll, I'll kind of do, give an example as I go through, but. And you'll want to, you can use a bit of your early starting water, you start with 400, to build like a tree right here, for instance. You're going to need a spare rover though to do some building, so I'll build one more. If you get him building this tree, next time this guy comes back to harvest, he'll harvest the closest one first, and he'll do it almost instantly. So the idea is to build these trees really close to your base and the rovers will just suck them up right away and you'll get really fast wood production. So we don't want to waste too much of our early water, but we can just build, let's say, a strip like this. And then he'll come along and kind of harvest it right away. See, it's really fast. So you get your wood ramping up really fast, but you need water to build these trees, so I end up building a bunch of water wells. They cost 50 wood each. So as our water comes in, we can build more trees really close to the base. So initially this is the only drop-off point, but later on when you build um, another building, it can become the drop-off point. So you kind of repeat this several times, but you'll find it's faster than trying to go way out here and harvest all this. So you can basically ignore, you know, ignore all this out here for now. This is just my suggestion. I don't know if it's the best way to do it, but it seemed to work better than kind of a more typical way. So let's build a couple more water wells, some more trees close by. You don't want to exhaust all your water. And even though we only have two colonists, our food is getting eaten into, so we'll want to build a potato patch here pretty soon. We can build one right away, stick it over here. So it generates food fairly slowly, and it'll get replaced by the greenhouse fairly soon. But this will keep our food at least going up in the positive. So it is a bit slow, and it is a bit tedious to start, but It, it ramps up fairly quickly once you get the water flowing at a decent rate. I, 
wouldn't be in a rush to build a charcoal hut until you get a good flow of water, which will lead to a good flow of wood, and then you can kind of get a bit of an escape velocity. And it also costs 300 wood, so... And at this point you can probably build a third rover. Start scaling up your ro rovers as well. Later on you'll be, instead of planting a couple at a time, you'll be planting like 50 trees at a time. And eventually you can make tree farms where you won't have to do this anymore, but in the beginning this is the only way to quickly generate wood. Or you could wait. You could just like build a bunch of rovers and just kind of let them slowly traverse their way out, but it would probably take hours before you had a good amount of wood. This is, I think, the quickest way to ramp up. So I've skipped ahead, ahead about five minutes, and I've, I've just been repeating, you know, get enough wood to build a well, build a well, wait till I have enough water, and now I can kind of build five trees at a time. and they'll kind of harvest them as quickly as possible. And then whenever I have enough wood, I just build a couple more wells. And things get faster and faster and faster. So I've skipped ahead a few more minutes. And now you can see my water generation is going up really nicely. Um, and I can build more, you know, more trees quickly. Build a few more rovers just to harvest faster. So you want to do this until you have about 30 or so wells. So now we can probably build the first charcoal hut. We've accumulated 300 wood, so let's build one of those. And we can put it over maybe over over here. These do require power, so we only have three power to begin with, so we're only going to be able to build a couple of these. And this will burn our, some of our wood and turn it into charcoal. It doesn't require any workers, but it does require power. See, now that the water's coming in at a good rate, we can build these long strips of trees close to the collection point, and then wood will just go up really quickly. So now that we have a few charcoal, it's unlocked the charcoal pile, which I wouldn't build for quite some time, and the charcoal compactor, which turns charcoal into ore. But before we build the charcoal compactor, we probably want to build another charcoal hut first, because the charcoal compactor is going to be consuming our charcoal at a pretty high rate, so we want to make sure we have enough charcoal coming out. So now we can build a second charcoal hut. We can also build a charcoal compactor now, so I'll build that kind of up here. It also requires one power, so this is going to use up all our power, but it doesn't require workers yet. So these two workers we have, they're still they're unemployed, they're not really doing anything. Probably getting slightly angry, but it's okay. So this is going to use up the charcoal really quickly and generate ore. So we'll probably run out of charcoal pretty quickly. But we can't really build a third charcoal hut yet, charcoal hut yet because we need more power, which will require this charcoal burner. And we have to wait for 80 ore, which will take a while but it generates 50 power, so it's a good step up in power. And now that we have a bit of ore, it unlocked the small vehicle factory, which um, we can build new vehicles from. And notice uh, you can build trees close to this compactor now as well. And they'll, they can drop off at this compactor or the original lander. So I skipped ahead about another 10 minutes to let the ore generate. So now we've got uh, 83 ore. And to build this charcoal burner, we're going to need 80 ore and 10 charcoal. But because our charcoal compactor is um, 
consuming our charcoal kind of at a really quick rate, we need to deactivate it to be able to allow the charcoal to build up again. So now we've got two charcoal, six charcoal. It's a bit slow. There's definitely parts in this game where there's going to be slow parts where you just have to kind of sit and watch it as it builds up the resources. You'll also notice our wood is capped right now. We can only store 1,200 and we've harvested 1,200, so... That'll change as we build more charcoal burners. Charcoal huts, I should say. So now we've got 10 charcoal and 80 ore, so we can build our charcoal burner. Which we can stick over, let's put it down here. Kind of out of the way. So now it uh, it'll consume charcoal at a pretty fast rate. So we're gonna need more charcoal huts. Now that we got the power to do it, we can build a couple more. And these compactors, you kind of want a ratio of one compactor to four charcoal hut. Otherwise, your charcoal will never kind of uh, build up. And I'm gonna build. Since I have the wood, I will build a couple more of these charcoal huts. And we're probably going to want to build some more trees and turn our compactor back on. Start getting ore generated again. So now there's probably going to be another long wait as we build up enough ore to build a small vehicle factory, which comes next. So I skipped ahead another 10 minutes or so and built some more charcoal huts and a couple more charcoal compactors. At one point I was out of charcoal so the power plant stopped so everything stopped so I kind of had to take everything offline and slowly bring back on the charcoal huts one at a time and then I was able to turn everything back on. So we should have enough ore now to build a small vehicle factory so I'll build one of those down here. So you got to keep an eye on your trees, make sure you got some trees laid down so the wood keeps flowing in. Now we can build a water bot. Let's build one of those and get him harvesting this water here. And let's build an, a builder bot. So this unlocks a whole bunch of stuff. Solar panels, ore refinery, greenhouse, landing pad, water tank. We want to build a water tank kind of right away, right beside this water reservoir. Because what it'll do is the water bot will just grab out of this pond and put it in this water tank and you'll get water really, 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 really fast. Way faster than, than all of these. So our water's at around 5600 now and now it's just going to shoot up really fast. And we can get another water bot on there as well. Make it go faster. So now we pretty much won't have water problems again until we've used up all of these water ponds and then we'll need to get water in a different way. We also have mulched wood path which is kind of a faster road. The internet relay booth which is entertainment. The shelter which we'll need. But the next thing we're going to need is the landing pad and a shelter. So we can landing pad to get colonists into the onto the planet and a shelter to house them in. Probably want to build a shelter first I guess. To speed things up though I'm going to build this mulched path on either side of my compactors. It uses up wood and we've got lots of wood now at this moment. <laughs> and then we can build trees on either side of this road and consumption will be even faster this way. We can also build them on the inside we probably don't want to build another one of these charcoal, charcoal burners again because it's going to consume our precious charcoal, but instead we can build solar panels, which cost ore. But kind of the build order you want to go in next is a, sh a small shelter and then wait for enough ore to build a landing pad, and then a greenhouse or two. Solar panels as you need them for power. 
and a couple silos to store food and then eventually the ore refinery and I'm gonna skip over to another map that I had with that, that kind of setup so this is another base I had set up uh, earlier today it's a little bit past what, what we just had but it's it's similar so more more compactors more charcoal huts a bunch of solar panels and then once I once I had a few greenhouses and a shelter I went and had I went ahead and built my first ore, ore refinery which took a while to wait for the ore because it takes 1200 ore and then I did the same thing again waited a long time built a second one with some shelters and entertainment and then I built I also built a landing pad to get settle, settlers calling us into the place and then I built a gold refinery which took um, 2,000 ore which we had to wait a while for and 80 steel which came out of these ore refineries built a few food storage silos and more of these rovers still planting trees in long strips like this but we don't have to do it as often so we built a gold so we built a gold miner from here and he's already off harvesting gold could probably build another one just to speed up gold production in fact we can probably build maybe five or six of them just to get the gold rolling in faster so you can double click on a type of unit it'll select all of that type and then you can tell them all to harvest and they'll go and harvest that's kind of a new feature that came out recently before clicking like a long click on the vehicles would select every vehicle on the map which wasn't as useful I also built some roads out to the, kind of the gold mines to make a collection of the gold a bit faster once we got some steel uh, we unlocked the small atmosphere generator which uh, I'm gonna hold off on building right now eventually we'll need to build some but not this moment and the gold mint was unlocked and the small research lab was unlocked we're gonna want to build some research labs uh, kind of right away because we want to get our research points going because we've got a bunch of stuff in here that we want to research uh, better hydroponics better solar panels uh, the advanced ore refinery and more efficient ways to make charcoal which is useful so we'll get a few of those built and notice that I built the housing here right beside this this gold refinery needs four workers so I put enough housing for people to get to this refinery Could probably build another one of these as well and another shelter close by if you played the red planet map like the Mars map you'll notice that things are getting kinda a bit closer to what that is in terms of how you start out the main difference being that there's no there's no ore on this map you have to create ore out of charcoal and to get colonists in, in faster we want to build another landing pad or two so our approval rating is pretty decent considering um, almost all the jobs are filled so we're still we're at 19 people out of 26 total so these landing pads will help us bring more people so in the stats menu there's you can see unemployed so for some reason even though there's four jobs available here we've got one unemployed person we can click on them hit hire and then click on the building we want them to work in then they'll then they'll basically start working there I've uh, skipped ahead about 15 minutes uh, we needed to get 50 research points so now we have them and the first thing I want to research is this advanced charcoal production because we want to be able to be able to generate charcoal at a faster rate this unlocks the charcoal factory it's basically uh, an upgraded version of this building here upgrade one costs 600 ore and 500 steel we don't have a whole lot of steel but let's upgrade a couple and these require workers the charcoal hut didn't require any workers but these do so we're gonna want to build some housing close to them it's four workers each so we'll build uh, maybe three shelters here I'm not sure why all are 
Rovers just decided to go over here with all these trees here, but build some more trees close to them. So once we get workers in here, we should see a ramp up in the charcoal production. In a way, these huts are nice because they don't require any workers, but they, they don't make as much, not as quick. Charcoal is actually going down fairly quickly, so we may just want to build some more huts until we get some workers in those factories. Because if, if we run out of charcoal, then our charcoal burner is going to go out of, out of commission, which will shut everything down, which is not good. So you can see now we got four workers in each of these charcoal factories. And if you kind of see the speed of the status bar, it's hard to see because it's black, but you'll see when it makes eight charcoal. It's about every five seconds unlike uh, the charcoal hut, which is really slow. Maybe every 20 seconds it makes two. Eventually we'll get um, like a lumber farm, which is really nice because it just generates trees without all this manual intervention. So we've got an, enough research to do the next research. So let's do high density solar panels, which unlocks the solar tower, which requires a lot of steel. 270 steel. We're going to need to wrap up our steel production. So I'm going to build another ore factory. Ore refinery. Maybe even one more refinery. I'm going to need lots of steel. These hold three workers each, so we want uh, kind of one shelter for each one here. We're going to need a lot of steel though to eventually upgrade our ore refineries to advanced ore refineries. But we'll need this research here called uh, Advanced Ore Purification First, which is coming soon. So now we've got 40 research, we can research Advanced Ore Purification. And that unlocks the Advanced Ore Refinery, I think. I don't see it here, but we also need Advanced Small Scale Construction, I think, to build the advanced ore refinery. So that'll be some time before we have enough research for that. But since we've got a long waiting period, I'm just going to wrap up this episode and continue on in part two. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like updates on future videos, uh, just subscribe and click the little bell and you'll get an email when I release new episodes, which is usually every day or two. Okay, thanks for watching.